I'm sure many of you have carved a gruesome face into a pumpkin and displayed it in your front window or porch during the season of Halloween. Pumpkins have been a staple of Halloween, perhaps even a symbol for the spookiest night of the year. But have you ever wondered why? If you really think about it, the carving of a pumpkin for display seems like a pretty random thing to do. However, if we trace it back through history, we can see how this particular practice took shape and how it evolved into what it is now. The carving of vegetables is actually a lot more common than you might think. For example, the Maori of the Maori tribes would use gourds to carve lanterns, a tradition that has taken place for the past 700 years. Interestingly enough, the Maori word for gourd can also be used to describe a lampshade. It is believed that the custom of using pumpkins began in Ireland back in the 19th century, though back then, turnips were often used and filled with a candle to use as lanterns. Grotesque faces were drawn into the fruits and vegetables and used to scare people during the season of Halloween. In Gaelic-speaking regions, Halloween was also the festival of Samhain, a festival that marked the end of the harvest and also the beginning of winter. It was seen as a time when supernatural beings and the souls of the dead roamed the earth. These lanterns were used at the time to represent the supernatural beings that were said to be present during the night of Halloween. Additionally, they were used as a protective talisman to ward off evil spirits. In other cases, the grotesque faces that were carved into the lanterns were used to scare off unwanted neighbours or sometimes sat on windowsills to keep away potential intruders. It's also suggested that the lanterns originally represented the Christian souls that were locked in purgatory, reminding people of their fate if they were not true to God. Pumpkins were also made popular by literature, most notably Washington Irving's short story known as The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. The story depicts a headless horseman with a pumpkin in place of his head. You may have also heard of pumpkins referred to as jack-o'-lanterns, a term that originated from an 18th century Irish folklore tale about a man named Stingy Jack. Jack was described as a lazy blacksmith who, while lazy, was smart enough to con the devil. One story states that Jack tricked the devil into climbing up an apple tree. Once the devil was up there, Jack quickly placed a cross around the trunk of the tree and carved several crosses around the bark, which prevented Satan from coming down. In another version, Jack had stolen something of value from the village. Outraged, the villagers chased him and Jack would run straight into the path of Satan. Satan claimed that it was time for him to die and he was there to watch. The villagers were soon to be upon Jack ready to tear him apart, but Jack told Satan that the villagers were frequent churchgoers and that he could really piss off God if he started messing with them. Intrigued, Satan began to listen to Jack, who told him that if Satan turned himself into a coin, he could pay for the stolen goods and Satan could cause mischief as the villagers would fight amongst themselves as to who got to keep the coin. Satan agreed to the plan and turned himself into a coin with the intention of causing mayhem between the villagers. But Jack stuffed the coin into his wallet, right next to a cross, thus stripping Satan of his powers and trapping him forever. In both tales, Jack lets Satan go free, but only after Satan agrees to never take his soul. Many years later, when Jack died, it's said that Jack was denied entry into heaven, given his sinful ways, and was sent down to hell. However, upon reaching hell, Satan wanted nothing to do with Jack, given that he'd already been trapped by him once, and because of their deal, he couldn't take Jack into his realm. Therefore, Jack was barred from hell, and with nowhere to go, was cursed to roam the earth. To get the last laugh, Satan tossed Jack a burning coal to light his way as he roamed the earth for eternity. Jack was said to go on to carve out a turnip for which he placed the coal inside to use as a makeshift lantern, wandering the earth in search of a final resting place. It's this entity that would become known as the Jack of the Lantern 
or simply Jack O' Lantern. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a little something about why we use pumpkins at Halloween. As always guys, do like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any other cool Halloween facts. Anyway, allow me to take this opportunity to wish you all a happy Halloween and try not to mess with the occult stuff too much. Stay safe out there trick or treaters. Until the next time.